Thank you so much for joining us today. It sounds very interesting to me to know that you majored in technology during your university education and then you navigated among very different roles of finance, technology and entrepreneurship. So what is the reason for that? So thanks a lot for having me today. Uh, so I s my background is uh, engineering uh, in France. And uh, after that, uh, I did technology, I did finance, I did entrepreneurship, but uh, none of that was planned. Entrepreneurship for me was an experience I got from MIT. When I moved from New York to the UK, and uh, I met with uh, Jean-Pierre Mustier, who at that time was the CEO of Sogen, the investment bank. And uh, he said, you should join banking. And, uh, it has been a good coincidence, all of that, which is finance, technology, and entrepreneurship which is pretty much the future of what finance will be. What are the opportunities as well as the challenges for the fintech industry in the country? What is the opportunity? The opportunity is that thanks to technology, you can build a very strong financial system much faster at a much cheaper cost. In terms of challenges, and some of these challenges are about, for example, capital and money. The interesting part about this challenge is that it is less of a challenge. Before, to create a financial system, it cost a lot of money. I think the main challenge, but perhaps also the main opportunity, it's all about people, it's all about talent. Chiu Hui is also passionate about developing fintech education. He is the co-founder of the Center for Finance, Technology and Entrepreneurship, or CFTE. During his visit to Vietnam last November, Chiu Hui and his colleagues spent most of their time working with the state bank and some other financial institutions to share their experience obtained when they worked in Europe and some universities in Asia. So coming back here to Vietnam this time, your homeland, do you have any plan to support the Vietnamese as well as the overseas Vietnamese fintech startups all over the world? You know, Vietnam, of course, is very, very dear to my, uh, to my heart. I think that we will try to do much, much more is really on education and education at scale. If you look at the population in Vietnam, the average age, uh, it's very, very young. You know, I think it's 25 or 27 years old. This year, we launched our education platform, which is called CFT. And CFT is about finding the best people in the world. So we found the best people in the US, in Europe, in Asia, in the Middle East and getting them to teach online and make sure that as many people as possible can learn from what you can do in the Silicon Valley, what you can do in London, in Hong Kong, in China, in Singapore, in Malaysia, perhaps in Vietnam in the future. We think that we have one of the best educations in the world and we hope that we can make, make it happen for Vietnam. So you were a CEO of one startup called UKB many years ago and you may understand very clearly all the difficulties and the challenges that one startup has to face. Do you want to tell something to all the startups here in Vietnam to motivate them, especially in terms of uh, financial technology? It's always very, very difficult you know, to be an entrepreneur. It's one of the most exciting uh, journeys also. Today, FinTech is the, one of the most amazing opportunities you can have. So the only thing you need is knowledge and the only other thing you need is to do it. So you need to start. You need to start and then see where it goes. But in Vietnam, you know, people are quite entrepreneurial. So I think you know, I'm very, very hopeful about the future of fintech in Vietnam. Thank you so much for being here once again. Thank you very much for having me.